Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're beginning a new playlist. This new playlist is a playlist about the divergence and the curl. But before we go there, we need to understand the concept of the del operator. And here in the box, we have the mathematical definition of the del operator. It's an upside down triangle and it's equal to the unit vector in the i direction times the partial derivative with respect to x plus the unit vector in the j direction times the partial derivative with respect to y plus the unit vector in the k direction times the partial derivative with respect to z. But what does that mean? What is it actually? Well, even though the del operator, also known as the differential operator, appears to be in an equation format, in essence, by itself, it has no true meaning. It has no specific use. It's kind of the same as taking the derivative of something. Here we have the expression the d dx, the derivative with respect to x, but that by itself really has no specific meaning. You actually have to operate on something in order to get the derivative. So here we have to operate on something with the del operator. But the del operator can operate on two different things. It can operate on a scalar quantity and it can operate on a vector quantity. And it can operate on them in different ways. For example, it can be used to find what we call the gradient of a scalar quantity. Now, when you find the gradient of a scalar quantity, the result of that will be a vector quantity. And it's similar to finding the derivative, except when you find the derivative, you simply find the derivative of a function in one variable. But when you find the gradient of a scalar, you're actually finding the derivative of a scalar quantity in multiple dimensions, like in x and in y combined. And it turns out that you'll get both a magnitude and a direction, and that's why the result of that will be a vector quantity. We'll show you some videos that explain how to do that and what it actually means. We can also use the del operator to find the divergence of a vector quantity. So here we are in the main part of what we're trying to understand, divergence and curl. So the del operator is used to find the divergence of a vector quantity, which gives you the result in a scalar format. And you can also use the del operator to find the curl of a vector quantity, which as a result will give you a vector quantity. So it's simply an operator. It does something to a scalar quantity. It does something to a vector quantity to give you specific information about that scalar quantity and about that vector quantity. And those specific things that you're trying to find have been called the gradient, the divergence, and the curl. And so in the next so many videos, we're going to very carefully explain what those things are, what the gradient is, what a divergence is, what a curl is, and what it actually tells you, the information you get out of it. It's not just being able to do the operation, which is typically what we learn in school and out of the textbook, but also understanding what those things are. And once you do that and you, you put two and two together, it'll make a lot more sense to you. So that's the objective of this particular playlist, is to understand how we can use the del operator to find the gradient, the diversions, the curl, and what those things actually are and what those things actually mean. So stay tuned. There'll be some more videos explaining these things for you.